I'm a food scientist working on ice cream and I got some ideas to replace palm oil because that may become less available in the future because of environmental concerns. So I need to see if there are any formulations or recipes using palm oil at the moment that I can take and modify uh, with different oils. So I'm going to search in the notebook and I'm going to search in my own experiments and my colleagues experiments for any palm oil uh, formulations to see if there's anything that I can use. So I go to the search function in the notebook and I put in the search. I could have added ice cream as well to the search terms but I found a few experiments and a couple of these don't look very useful. They're the testing of different ingredients but this one might be a useful um, experiment. Now I could open this experiment directly but also when you've done a search in the notebook and you've got a list of experiments you can actually go to a different view where you can see the content of the experiment directly here in the search results. So here I can see the the content of this experiment directly. It doesn't matter so much with only three experiments but if I had a a list of 50 experiments it might be it's a lot quicker to browse through the different experiments. So this experiment seems to be testing different stabilizers but here I found a formulation which looks like something I can use. So I'll open up the experiment. It's one of my colleagues experiments. So I look closely at the formulation and it's using uh, palm oil here and I can take this and, and do my substitution. Now I could just clone this whole experiment, create a new experiment that's a copy of this experiment and then just modify things. But actually I don't need the whole experiment. This experiment is mainly to do with stabilizers, which is not what my experiment will be. So I'm just going to take this uh, whole section and copy it and put it into the experiment that I'm working on. So I take this, this formulation, this recipe, and I copy the section. And then I need to open up the experiment that I'm working on. I'll go back to my home page. I've already started the experiment. I can paste the formulation into my experiment. So here that's been added and now I need to modify this so that I'm going to use hemp oil instead of the palm oil. So I open up the Excel file. I don't need the palm kernel oil so I'll delete that row and the palm oil I'm going to substitute with hemp oil. I need to change the quantities here so they add up to 100. So they add up to 100. I then select the cells that are going to go back into the experiment and then I close Excel. That modified Excel sheet then comes back into my experiment. I would then add additional information to this experiment. I would add my method, etc. What I might want to do is link this experiment back to the ex experiment where I've just taken that formulation from. And I can do that by adding a related experiment section here in the section toolbox. So if I click in here, it will show experiments that I've just been looking at. So hopefully it should show the experiment which I've just opened. Here it is. And that adds a link to that other experiment. And I can click on that link and the other experiment opens. So the two experiments are linked to each other. So I go back to my experiment and I keep on adding the additional information. So you can see in this simple example of one of the features of the Biovia notebook, you can search and find experimental information very easily. And then you can take that and you can reuse it. In this case, I took an Excel sheet, put
put it into my new experiment and modify it as I needed it. An example of how you can save time using the Biovia notebook.